So this is my way of synchronizing a drum track or should I say synchronizing a bass track against a drum track and removing unwanted drum controllers. The drummer function on Logic Pro. What a marvelous thing that is. Um, so I've selected Kyle here to play the pattern called Ocean Boulevard and this is what it sounds like. So for the purposes of this video all I'm going to worry about is the kick drum. I'm going to get a bass line just from the kick drum. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a software instrument. So we're going to select a software instrument and we're going to have drum kit designer okay so now I'm going to hold down the option key and drag the pattern into drum kit designer that then gives us a MIDI file that we can understand and then we're going to close the library we don't need that and have a look at this and we can see the kick drum So what we're going to do is delete everything else apart from the kick drum. Okay, so there it is. Just the kick drum on its own. Nice and straightforward, couldn't be easier. And then we're going to create another track this time. We're going to go for the default patch. And we're going to make this a bass. Any bass will do to give us a rough idea of what's going on. And we're going to drag this option and drag it down into the bass line. So as long as these notes stay in the same position in time, they can be changed to any pitch. And you might think that's the end of it, but actually it's not. Uh, there's a little problem when doing this. But let me demonstrate. If I grab this bass note here, let's just stretch it out so we can see what we're doing. Drag it up. see we go up a semitone here it's going down instead of up so this isn't a very useful writing tool as it stands so I'm going to take this back to where it belongs which was on C1 and we're going to close the library again and shrink all this up so we can see the entire thing and highlight it all and copy that and then we're going to create yet another new software instrument track And make that a bass too. And then in the piano roll, first of all, of course, we've got to create a MIDI region. And in the piano roll, we're going to paste. When we look at this now, We're going to try the same 
thing. We're going to take this bass note up. Now you can see that has cured that little problem. So now we've landed up with a bass track that's no good to us, so we're going to get rid of that. A drum track which is also no use to us, so we'll get rid of that too. I'll bring this drum track back and we're going to transpose this slot up a little. play that back and see that um, we've got a bass line which matches so that's it obviously you can use other parts of the drum kit such as the snare, hi-hat, whatever it is, is your style of music. And that's basically it really, nothing more to it.